Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how we can create some super realistic exterior render with Enscape 3.5.6 for SketchUp. Let's get to work. First of all, I need to create some camera. So I'm going to click on the view management and click on the create view in here. So I'm going to click on it in this place and the name of it is not really important. So you can link it with the ready render settings if you have and right now i don't have any visual presets so i'm gonna unlink it in this part of my job i need to change my camera perspective maybe something like that is really great for my job so i'm gonna hold it in some type of angle like this my pitch is about 16 and the uh, yeah is about 302 degree in here so uh first of all i need to change the camera perspective the main reason for it is that when you change your camera perspective uh, in these type of renderings, uh, you can manage your job much better. So in this part of your Enscape called projection, you can click and change it to the two point perspective. And now you can see that all the angles and some type of cut it out and dropped it out part of your render will be completely improved. So. The X, Y, Z is not really important, but Y is the uh, eye height. You can change it 3.39 and sun angle and position is really important. So for the sun angle, I'm going to hold the shift and the right click. So when I change the uh, cursor, something like that, I can change the time of the day. Very simple. I need some type of lighting which near to the morning, near to the sunrise, for example. So I'm going to manage it in some number like 643 and if I hold control plus U and I, I can change the uh, sun direction. Something like that is really wonderful for my job. So I prefer to use it like that. If you want some direct shot, you can change it like this and you can see that your sun reflection on your facade mirror design. So I prefer to use some type of rotated angle something like that and i'm going to click on the create option so enscape scene number one created for you and you can use it as the uh ready camera shot for your project so i'm going to close it in here click on the uh, save frame my frame is normal so i really like it because it's about full hd so we will start our job from here so let's get to work i'm going to click on the uh, visual setting in this place and i need to go to the output change the resolution you can see full hd ultra hd and custom mode right now full hd is good and my file format is png so output is over next item related to the sky so i'm going to click on the sky in here change the source of my render from the white ground to the white cubes and you can see what really happened in your render all the environment will crowd by the uh, buildings and city texture so if i use the rotation option in here you can see some changes in your lighting it means that your hdri work with your sun at the same period of time so you need to train more to learn how to use it it's very simple when you rotate it you can set it out in some good part of your render for example 30 degrees enough for me in this place about the density variety and size amount if i reduce the density as you can see clouds will be faded out and size amount is one of the most valuable and important elements so i'm going to reduce it like that and right now i have some clear sky in here i only need to increase the density a little bit and work with the latitude or latitude and you can see some type of small clouds in the air and i think it's much better than the other time so 26 for the density countrails can be related to the airplane jet clouds so i'm going to increase it as i can to create some realistic view about the sky and latitude is about 7100 meter and the latitude is about 1200 meter in the atmosphere, I'm going to reduce the uh, fog option to the zero because I need some super clear sharp rendering. 
So about the uh, sun brightness, I'm going to move my visual setting in here. You can see some brightness right now. And if I reduce the uh, sun brightness as I can, our exterior render will be get darker. If you want to create some type of rainy renders, you can use this option. But right now I want to use it on the default mode, 80%. And I think it's good for me. Shadow sharpness related to the uh, interior shadows and you can see if you want to focus on these part of your job But right now I want to use some soft shadows. So 34% is enough Artificial light brightness not really useful ambient is not really useful because we are in exterior rendering wind option is not useful in here because you don't create any type of specific animation so in the image bar, I will turn on the auto contrast to manage it automatically. As you can see, it helps you to relight your areas with different type of shadows and highlights in different situation. Saturation related to your color density. So if I increase the saturation, you see what happened. Your render completely exits from the reality. And I think it's not really good. So in this case, I'm going to reduce it to 99% or maybe 101%. Color temperature related to your render temp. If you want some type of warm rendering, you can reduce color temperature and you can see what happened. It's maybe recommended for afternoon or evening renders, not in the uh, morning renders and daylight renders. So. I prefer to use some a little bit cold color 7000 Kelvina motion blur is not really useful bloom option is about 4 lens flare is about 44 Vignate can be increased a little bit to create some artistic render 56 is enough color chromatic aberration I'm sorry it's related to your edges so, for example, if I want to move a little bit forward, look at these edges in here. When I increase the uh, chromatic aberration, we can see some type of RGB glitch in your edges. So, it completely depends on you. You want to use it or not. I prefer to hold it in some medium number. I'm going to click on Enscape Scene 1 in here. And I will turn back to my main shot in this case. And final bar for rendering is the main bar in Enscape. So I'm going to click on the main bar and I will increase the outline a little bit to create some different parts from the render and other scenes in my rendering and elements. 17% is enough. Exposure is about 50%. I can turn it off and use it manually. For example, if I increase it to the 54, you can see what's really happened. So I prefer to use it on the automatic mode. It helps you to get better ideas for relighting. 56 is enough. I think colors are too density. So I'm going to click on the image bar and reduce the saturation to the 99. Or maybe I can reduce it a little bit to the 98, for example. I will come back to the main bar and start my job from the field of view. So I will reduce the uh, field of view as I can. Something like this. I want to cover the uh, all corrupted areas. 61 is good, but we have a big problem. We don't have a complete view of our building. So how we can fix it out? I'm going to press F. Click on the edit camera. And I will left click, click and drag to the upside like this. And before I click on the save option, I will click on the visual setting again and reduce the field of view to see what really happened. As you can see, we have some problem in angling. So you can zoom out to create your fixed camera position. I think something like that can be really good. Something like this. My field of view is 73. And the X option is about negative 0.78. Y is about 3.0.8. 
and z is about negative 6.33 pitch is about 25.36 298 and click on the uh, save all right i think it's over so field of view is good now time for the depa field so don't worry about these please i will fix it out I'm going to turn on the uh, depa field in here. Use the uh, autofocus, turn it off, and play with the focal point to focus on your main shot. I think some number like 25.3 meter is enough. And depa field is about 11. And rendering quality on the ultra. So everything is done for us. And I only need to move it a little bit in these part of my job. So I need to minimize Enscape at the right side, sketch up in the left side. And my estimated position in some place like that. So I think I can click on these object in here. Take one test copy. Like this and I can see the effect of it right now in my render so I will move it a little bit to the right side a little bit all right now I can see this object in my render so I will use the a trick and it's related to rescaling your objects I'm going to make it a little bit bigger something like that move it to the back side like this and these horizon line covered for us so this problem is fixed it out and next problem related to the right corner side of my render so i will repeat this job but this time with another type of bushes so i will click on this one take one copy in here all right i can see these leaves seeds in my render so i'm going to click on the scale and rescale it move it to the right side another time rescale it again make it a little bit far from my render use this push in here a little bit to the right side you can see the changes in the real-time rendering and I will rescale it. So now it's much better and I think it's improved for me. I think everything is done for final rendering. But before I do this job, I'm going to click on the paint bucket in the SketchUp and Enscape Material Editor in here. So I will move it in this place, pick up the uh, sample paint, check out my facade color. So it's near to the orange. If I change it to the gray, I can change total color of it and I think it's really interesting but uh, for better view I can change it to the white mode for example but I think some type of colors like orange or maybe golden orange can be really good so I prefer to use this orange in here reduce your roughness a little bit to the 32 Metallica is about 3.6 and everything is done i think so it's 56 enough and time for the rendering so i'm going to click on the uh visual setting 74 for the field of view rendering quality on the ultra mode and now time for the uh, rendering so i'm going to click on the uh screenshot in here and I will save it on my desktop. The name of it is not really important and press save. As you can see, under 15 minutes, we create the super realistic render in Enscape for a SketchUp, very simple and easy. And if I want to show the final result of it, that's the uh, final result. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks and goodbye.